We're going to work on how to liberate the Cult Outpost Whitetail Park Ranger Station in complete stealth and get that undetected award once you're done. I'll also show you where to get the silver bars. Okay, so we're just going to come in from the south and then we'll move around the west and get on top of this building right here where there's a guy we'll take out first. And this is located in Jacob's region. We're going to be using our fists. Uh, throwing knives and then also the SA-50 sniper rifle. I'd suggest go to a general shop at one of the outposts or wherever you can find one or a weapons dealer somewhere and go to the feature tab of weapons and then purchase the SA-50 from there. If you can't find it in there, go to the sniper rifles page and you'll have to unlock it uh, via reputation and uh, yeah, I would suggest getting it and then get a silencer on it. It'll be beneficial for this, for this outpost here. Okay, first thing to do is pull out your binoculars and spot all the people here. This one's a little bit more difficult than most, just for the simple fact that uh, there's so much uh, variance of what can happen. There, there's a uh, resistance people that move along the streets occasionally, and that can change up the whole plan of what's going to happen while you're uh, trying to clear these guys out. Like right now, they're already moving. They already adjusted their their current setup. Okay, so this guy's moving over here. I was going to take out the guy on the roof, but because things have already uh, switched up a little bit, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to take out this guy first. Okay, and then we'll take out that guy to our right next. Okay, I'm going to pick this guy up quick. Don't want him to get spotted. Okay, we'll set it right here. The music's a little intense in this part, I would say. Okay, we'll spot the heavy right there. Okay, and we'll pick up this guy quick. And we're gonna pick up his body right away. Okay, we'll move him back here as well. These guys are very easily spooked, so whether it be a footstep that you make incorrectly or what, you just have to be able to adjust to what happens. Okay, this guy's coming over here. We're just going to wait in this spot for a moment, and then we'll go up there and take him out. Okay, before he gets too close to that side, we're going to pick him up quick. We'll move his body. Okay, we're going to drop him right down there. We'll get on this ladder. Actually, we're just going to wait where we are for a sec. We can drop down onto this heavy. He's going to walk right along this side. Okay, there's a guy right there. We're going to take him out with a throwing knife, and then we're going to jump on this guy. Okay, and pick these guys up and move them behind the hangar right away. Otherwise, these guys will get spooked again. Okay, pick this guy up really quick. Okay, and get out of there again. Alright, leave him right there. Move this guy a little bit more. Okay, oh no, I don't want to go back up there. Okay, we're going to pull our fist back out. <clears throat> now we're going to go for this last guy here. So this last guy, there might actually be uh, another one or two guys, so we'll just be careful. But this last guy that we have spotted, at least, he's got a wolf around him. That's the only reason I suggest having this SA-50. You can do it. Oh, yeah, there's another one right there. You can do it without the SA-50. It's just that right here, the wolf comes to attack you. And that wolf just about killed me. But I had a silenced rifle. I wasn't even going to use it this walkthrough, but it went and attacked me because it got my scent. So I had to use it. Okay, I'm going to take this guy down with just regular takedown. And we're going to pick up his body right away and move him. Can't really pick up wolf bodies, though. Okay, now we're going to move over here. We just got one guy left to take out. Okay, I'm just sprinting a little bit. I want to get real close to this guy before he really moves. 
Okay, and we'll just get up right behind him and perform a takedown. We don't need to even need to use our throwing knife here. And that should be it. There you go, Whitetail Park Ranger Station liberated undetected. Boom. Okay, then I'm going to show you where the hidden uh, silver bars are located in just a second here once this cutscene's over. Oh, that's a pretty sweet looking Jeep right there with the American uh, <laughs> flag on it. <laughs> Camouflage and American flag. Really hides well. <laughs> Nice, another thousand dollar bonus for undetected. Got another outfit too, nice. Okay, so we're gonna go into this house right here. I wanna show you up. Oh, well, there's the hidden safe. I wanna show you one other thing first. Before we look at the hidden uh, safe with the silver bars, there's a key right here. You get a ranger key mission item. So that's something that you can use for later on. Not relating to this right now. Anyways, here's your safe. And then you're just gonna pick it. Pick the lock and you'll find your silver bars with cash inside. And I've already gotten the silver bars, so they are not there anymore. Okay, anyway, this uh, house right here, this is the location of that hidden safe. Okay, that's all I have for you in this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure, su make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Click the button in the bottom left corner of the screen. Uh, click the link in the top right corner of the screen to check out the video. I'm going to link there. And then also uh, join the Discord chat. Link is in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.